This video is one on the series of uh, inventory videos uh, looking at different models for determining uh, order sizes or production lot sizes and this one is called POQ or production order quantity. Uh, I did in a separate video introduce the, the various models and this one is just to show you how to calculate some of the uh, some of the uh, insight or some of the numbers that you can gain insight from in the production order quantity model. So these are the types of questions you would get in an introductory uh, in an introductory operations management course. Uh, so production order quantity and so to give you a sense of the question we'll give you some data demand that's annual demand with a big D is 10,000 units P, which is the production rate, is 100 per day. That means you can produce 100 units per day. D, little d, is 40 per day. So that's 40 units per day is demand. Uh, 10,000 units per day is uh, annual demand. Setup costs are $200. And holding costs are two dollars per unit per day. Uh, two dollars per unit per year, sorry. So uh, then you might get a question one if they want to produce optimal optimally sized batches what size should the batches be so now in this circumstance you know it's a production order quantity or a POQ problem because that's how I started the video but I would highlight if 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 you got this question the way to know that this is a production order quantity question is that you have a production rate. If you don't have a production rate, then in that circumstance you are most likely an economic order quantity uh, problem rather than a uh, production order quantity problem. So in this circumstance then, the Q star is equal to the square root of 2ds, that looks a lot like the EOQ model, times H, and this is where we're different, 1 minus D over P. So daily, product, daily demand rate over production rate. So because the daily demand rate needs to always be smaller than the production rate or you just won't, or you just won't be able to, to keep up. Uh, and so this allows inventory to build up. And so we know this is smaller than this, so this is a number less than one. And what we're saying is we are having holding costs essentially that are lower than they would be under the EOQ because our inventory never gets up to the level of the order quantity. So let's look at this. In this case, it is equal to 2 times 10,000 times 200, which is the setup cost, divided by... 2 times 1 minus 40 over 100. And if we do that, it is 1825.7 or 18.26. In inventory, uh, you can round it up. Uh, the rule generally is it depends what the items are. In this case, we had 10,000 units. Uh, if it was widgets, we couldn't produce 0.7 of a widgets. If it was um, kgs or um, liters, uh, then we could leave it like that. But generally, uh, I would round up. So, 1,826 is the optimal production run in this case. Which means, not with the inventory, but it means that that is the amount uh, that we would order to be produced. So, that raises the question then, what is 
the maximum inventory level and that is Q times 1 minus D over P which means this is how much we produce and this ratio is how much we use of what we produce over the time of the production run so we reduce that by that ratio and that is equal to 1826 times 1 minus 40 over 100 equals 1095 so even though we produce 1826 units our inventory never goes above 1095 because as we're producing it we're also using it up so next question is what is the length of the production run so how long does it take us to make 1826 units so that is T is equal to Q over P Q is how much we produce this is how much we produce per day so that is equal to 1826 divided by 100 is 18.26 days so when we run uh, when we do an order the the production facility runs for 18 and a quarter days to get that order done so then next question is how many orders are there per year and that is simply orders this is just like it was with the EOQ model total demand divided by the quantity that you produce is equal to 10,000 divided by 1826 equals 5.48 production runs per year so we we produce 5.48 uh, batches per year and those and, and that uh, each batch takes 18.26 days so then the next question is how many days per year is the production facility in use for this product and this is a type of question you might get is okay we have a we need every uh, we need it for 18.26 days 5.48 day, uh, times per year how many days do we use the facility for this product and that will give us a sense of how many other days we have available uh, for the uh, uh, for for other products or for maintenance and those sorts of things so uh, this would be equal to days per run times the number of runs is 18.26 just making sure we can still see that yep 18.26 times 5.48 is equal to a hundred days so the production facility is in use for a hundred days for this uh, for this product relatively straightforward it is just thinking about what those different numbers mean uh, and 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 then understanding the relationship between them so the last thing I'm going to do relative to the POQ is what what are the total annual inventory costs and inventory costs are setup costs plus holding costs and if you remember from the EOQ we try and balance the two of these so total cost is equal to 10,000 divided by 1826 and if you remember that is the number of orders we do per year times 200 
which is the setup cost for each order. So this is the number of orders per year, this is the setup cost, plus two, which is uh, the holding cost, times 1826, which is what we produce, times one minus four, uh, 40 over 100, right? So this become over two. This is max inventory, sorry, no, this is max inventory. We divide it by two because we produce and then we use it up and so our average is halfway. So uh, max inventory equals 2190.89 and you will know without even doing the interim calculations that inventory costs are 1,095.45, which is exactly half of that, as long as I've done the math in my head correctly, because the POQ, by definition, review the introductory video, it is the point at where holding costs is exactly equal to setup costs. Holding costs go up, as batch size gets bigger, setup costs come down as batch size gets bigger, and so we find the point at where they are exactly equal, and that gives us the optimal. So, if you ever had to get, it, if you ever got a question, here's total cost, uh, or or you didn't get total cost, you said uh, holding holding costs for an EOQ uh, model or a POQ model is 400, what are the setup costs? You would know that it is 400 and you wouldn't have to do any calculations if, even if you don't get uh, all of the information. So that is a quick introduction to uh, production order quantity uh, and uh, I'd encourage you to watch the other videos to get a fulsome understanding.